everybody. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. We're here at the Breast Care Center of Grove in Rancho Cucamonga. So I am here for a diagnostic mammogram and an ultrasound just so they can get a better look at everything. Let's head in for the appointment and I'll let you know how it goes. We made it to the appointment. It was supposed to be, when I put in on Google, it was 44 miles to get here and it should have only taken, so with no traffic, it said it was gonna be about 48 to 50 minutes to get here at the most. It took us an hour and 15 minutes to get here with traffic, but we checked ahead of time. We saw that there was gonna be traffic, so we knew and prepared and ended up leaving earlier than we expected so that we could make it to my appointment on time, and we did. I don't know how people commute every day. Oh my gosh. We are lucky. <laughs> yes, we are. You especially getting to work from home. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> All right, everyone. So I, as I've explained in previous videos, have decided to have breast augmentation. And in doing that, they sent me for a mammogram. When I had my mammogram, they found a spot in my left, left breast. So that was why they sent me here for additional images. So. First step was I got all signed in and they called me in for, I had to do a diagnostic mammogram, which means they take additional images of that specific area of concern. So she told me that it could be a little bit painful because she had to really squeeze some areas to make sure whether it's tissue or a problem that may need to be biopsied. It didn't hurt at all, but she got the images that she needed, stepped outside, I thought I was actually gonna be here for a couple of hours waiting because my appointments were two different times for the diagnostic mammogram and the ultrasound, but they took me then right into my ultrasound. I was in there for a little while and she took some additional images of the area and then she indicated that she would be leaving to go get the doctor and the doctor would come back in to discuss it with me. So I sat and I waited and I waited and finally she just came back in and she said, all right, the doctor looked at everything, everything's fine, it was just tissue, you're good to go, we'll send the results to your doctor. So I'm all done with this step. My next step is moving forward with my appointment on Monday is my pre-op appointment with my doctor. I'll get a little more information, I'll film that and show you and we're just continuing on our journey to my surgery on May 24th for breast augmentation. Now we're heading to my parents' house because we're over in Rancho Cucamonga, so we're gonna go to their house and see them. See what else this day brings. Yes. After Lisa's mammogram scare, I took her shopping to make her feel better. I was having her look at diamond rings. What she doesn't know is I am upgrading her three quarters of a carat diamond center stone to a completely new two and a half carat center stone ring for our 10-year Alice in Wonderland un-anniversary. I will be asking Lisa to marry me again at Disneyland on Sunday with friends with this ring in hand. Edward, and this is Lee. Me. And this uh, is Christina right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna help you out at yeah. Hellsburg and Ontario Mills. Cool. They're wonderful, come see them. And there's a big event coming up on Saturday. Thanks, see, look at that, yes. you show too. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying going on this journey with us because we're glad you're along with us. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.